Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I thought I would just vlog this evening because I thought it might be interesting to potential, people who are potentially thinking about fostering, kind of want to know a little bit more about how it actually works. Stand in mind, follow me, let me waste your time, set up the... I have just received a phone call. What time is it? It is quarter past two. I haven't just received a phone call, I've received three phone calls. I've just received a phone call of the duty team, which are the team that when um, children come into uh, needing a foster carer, it's their job to then match them with foster carers that are available. So I've received a phone call at about quarter to two, so about half an hour ago. And obviously different placements work differently. Uh, different, every case is kind of different, but this is an emergency case received a phone call they gave me some information about the children that needed a placement it's emergency it's like they need it now um we had a little chat maybe for five minutes she goes away and does things her end i then received a phone call like 10 minutes later off my social worker to say that she'd received an email about it um you know the match and she'll let me know if she heard anything that i've just got off the phone just now from another social worker who, I don't know who he is, to be quite honest, he's he's somewhere. <laughs> don't know what, where he is. Uh, but yeah, he's um, got more information about the children and it was kind of, we were just chatting a little bit about their needs and things and basically um, confirming that they are gonna be coming to me this evening. Um, it's not confirmed 100%. He's gonna message me I mean, they need it done before five, so <laughs> what time are we on? It's quarter past, yeah, quarter past two. The last thing he said to me on the phone was, yeah, it's pretty pretty much, because I said, are they definitely coming to me tonight then? Or, and he said, yeah, we're pretty much, <laughs> but I will confirm it with you. Um, hopefully, you know, I, I will get there before five. So I'm thinking they're coming. I don't think they've got, I think they, the thing with this is they want somewhere, the children at the moment, they just need somewhere for them for the weekend at least i mean it could go on longer but they just need somewhere for them and it's an you know it's an emergency so i've got a school one to do soon but right now this is the room let me show you and as you can see it's not quite ready for two children to come and stay in so i need to get on sorting this out i think i do have luckily i have this that is a cot bed and i have another cot bed there they're both gonna have to stay in here they will they will fit two in here it will be a little bit of a squeeze but i can fit two i have to change that into a cot bed i'm assuming i need to find out i don't think any of them are in cots but i need to find out actually before i start taking that down that they're both gonna need beds so i need to put that one up sort that one out and just sort this out tidy this mess up so let's get on i have got a school one but right let's I've been in this position before where you think a child's coming, they phone you, especially like on a Friday, it always seems to happen on a Friday, they phone you and it's all like emergency, go, 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 they're coming to you and then all of a sudden they're not coming to you and so I've like come in, I think, I don't know if I've vlogged it actually and I was sorting out beds and I've made up a cart and I was like, oh, they're not coming now and it's like, oh, I spent half an hour sorting stuff, I mean half an hour is not the end of the world but it's kind of like a waste of time getting stuff sorted but I'm, I'm like 99% sure that these children are going to be coming so i am going to get started on it well because i need to so let's uh, let's get started sorting this out all i put this one up and then i realized i've done it wrong so it took me ages to figure it out and then i realized i was doing it wrong i need to take these bits off and just use that bit so i need to start all over again but i need to go and pick up stephen and square from school my other foster child we've had some developments i've gone and got the kids from school it's all systems go it's 3 52 um i got a phone call i thought i'd go and buy a cot bed mattress after school so i was outside oh gosh, i was gonna go and buy a cot bed mattress because i realized i only had the one uh and i got a phone call at quarter to four 
um, it, it like didn't work, the phone call, I don't know what, for whatever reason, and then I got a message saying, we're on our way to yours, uh, <laughs> so I was messaging, saying like, what's your ETA? Quite past four, so, 3.52, we've just got back in from school, they're yeah. going to be arriving in like 20 yeah. minutes. Eggballs. You've got bubbles? Yeah. Wow. Milk. So, we need to get organised. Craziness. The chaos. Mm -hmm. You're not impressed? <laughs> a nice relaxing Friday yeah. evening. Oh. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do, priority, I'll get some toys out, so there's some toys for them to play with, and put them, oh, that's cool. Squirt got the, um, my other foster child got an award, star award in school, and he got a little prize. Um, get some toys out for them, so there's some toys when they first arrive, and I've got to go and try and finish up the bedroom. Crazy. Right, this is the... This is the big problem. There's some toys downstairs to play with. This is the big problem because they always come and like have a look at the room. I say always, I've only done this once before. I'm assuming <laughs> that it's always the same. Like they arrive, I haven't got time for this chatting, but they arrive and then um, and the people who bring them sort of like play with, stay with them in the lounge area. Sort of like they play with toys and things and then they come up and have a look at where they'll be sleeping. At the moment, where they'll be sleeping, it's chaos and it would be nice if it was sorted for when they arrive. It's not gonna be. I've got like 10 minutes. Your back hurts. Oh, oh, that's four plugs here. I don't know. It's going well. It is quarter past, so they are due now. Stephen is being a superstar and helping me do this bed. Yes. I thought you were saying me too. Yeah, so did I. He is almost finished. Putting this one up, doing very well. Thank you very much, Stephen. I did put it in, but it fell out. He kept falling out. You put your finger up there. I did. It just, it just, just wasn't working for me. I think it's because I'm getting flustered. You are. I'm not doing anything right. So, really, it's just make-up beds, to be honest. We're not, we're not too bad. It's not going to be ready unless they're extremely late and there's a bit of traffic or whatever, but I don't even know. I'm assuming, but in my head, I'm saying the two-year-old's going to be in a cot. Um, I don't think I've said that. It's the two and a four-year-old. Um, two-year-old in a cot and a four-year-old in a bed. That's what I'm going with. It may be different, but we might not have to change it around, I don't know. And, just as I've said that, I've just gone and put something in my bedroom. They are here. It's 18 minutes past. This is what the room is looking like. It's just, it will have to be. Um, you want to try and do that or do you want to come downstairs? Steve's probably come downstairs. Done. You're nearly done. Brilliant. Steve's going to finish that. I'm going to go and meet them. Um, I'll speak to you afterwards. So the kids are here. It is... What time is it? Five o'clock? The, um, the social workers, I don't know whether they're social workers, I think they're social workers. Um, bring the kids, um, give you as much information as they have, depending on the situation. They may not have a lot of information, which today they didn't really have a lot of information. Um, I asked a little bit about any, do they know any information about routines? Because they do try and get as much information as they can off of parents. But obviously the situation is, you know, not a good one. It depends if parents are willing to give information or, you know, fit to or anything. So I tried to get as much information as I could about any routines or sort of how they sleep or eating, anything really. Um, the, lim the knowledge I've got is very limited, but you've got to work with what you have. I am just preparing, I'd made, in the background, I'd made uh, tacos. We're having tacos for tea tonight. And hello, I'm just making tea. I'm gonna have tacos and some pasta maybe. I'd made um, tacos earlier on today. But the amount of mix I've got was enough mix for kind of three, four people. We're now six people. So I think I'm just gonna see a bit of pasta on or something. This is a bit of an extra thing. I don't know, I don't know whether the kids wanna eat anything, but a bit of pasta. And so in terms of what is happening, what is going on, uh, don't know. Uh, is is the answer to that no idea yeah i'll have a bath later after tea no idea what's happening um obviously it's the weekend now so it will be i'm kind of I'm not left to my own devices over the weekend yeah we'll all have a bath yeah um yeah yeah i am not left my own devices but in a sense i am left my own devices but i have got like numbers um there is like emergency numbers or weekend numbers that you can go like out of hours if there's any issues which I've never had any issues as yet 
and yeah that's that's how it's gone we'll see how the bedroom Stephen's finished the bed we just need to like make it up with things they have fortunately they've come with a few items like nappies and things that will see me through to tomorrow because otherwise i would have to go and somehow get nappies but i haven't got car seats i've only got one car seat <laughs> these are the things just like oh um i've only got one car seat so if you want to do anything i'm gonna have to buy two new car seats um so i don't know i don't know whether i need to do that today and try and get them off of amazon so they'll arrive tomorrow otherwise we're kind of stuck in all weekend my phone has been going off the hook that's my social worker just checking on things um they do give you a 50 pound grant if the children come with not very much so you can buy like little clothes for them and stuff but you only get that after the fact so i'm gonna have to buy them some clothes over the weekend probably um i'm gonna need car seats I'm going to need car seats definitely because I've got Monday morning school runs uh, squirt my foster child that I have. Um, obviously he goes to school, I'd take him, drive him to school, so I'm going to need two car seats. <laughs> I'm going to have to sort that out. Oh my goodness, but for now, I'm going to have to sort it out. Lara's back at seven. She'll be helpful. She normally is, she normally is um, quite useful in these situations. Is it delicious? Mm-hmm. 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 A knife. Put your knife. We, don't, we don't really need a knife with tacos, do we? No. Don't really need a fork. Well, you need a fork for your pasta, though, yeah? You alright, Stephen? <laughs> do you have four? Yeah. Four tacos! Four? I've finished two. <laughs> do you have two tacos? I've finished two. Finished two? Mm -hmm. Wow. Have a clean up, we've made a big mess. Oh. Are you sharing? Me. Oh, you're very good, taking turns on the swing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, be careful, what? you're knocking each other over. So, so far, so good. I mean, it's only been. <laughs> What's it been? <laughs> Feels like forever to be honest. It's been only an hour really. <laughs> an hour and 15 minutes. But we've had tea, all went well, no problems. Uh, they've helped clean up after tea and stuff. The two, I've got two four year olds now with me. They're getting on like a house on fire at the moment, playing on the swing. Um, I think the big thing probably is you just become accustomed to having like, the age of children that you have so like a four-year-old obviously is is there's no danger necessarily well there is danger but there's, there's not necessarily to if see, i was just talking to Stephen and saying that like, i left a knife on the side like close to the edge and like when i'm cooking back there just obviously with a two-year-old that's completely different than a four-year-old because like, they reach up to the cooker and they can just put their um and this is generalization obviously there's two-year-olds and four they're not all the same but uh, yeah, it's just that awareness of what the, what is around the house and how toddler proof it is. Um, there's like a few like there was like an ornament that was sentimental to me in regards to my mum, and the two year old was playing with cars along the window. So I was like, oh no, I need to move that. But they they've settled in fantastically. And uh, like I say, it's only been like an hour and fifteen minutes. Um, Square is loving having other children here. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. We've got to do baths and things. I'm just, I mean, you know, obviously I'm a single mum of one child. I've had Squirt with me for the last four months or so. So all of a sudden, I have two four-year-olds and a two-year-old. It's a bit of a, like a, whoa, shock to the system as it were. But I mean, I am used to it in the sense of I was a childminder and looked after, you know, multiple children of around that age. But it's, you know, obviously that was like eight or six o'clock. It wasn't all day and all night and everything and also because i don't know anything about these children um it's quite difficult you know if they're crying for something if they wake up in the night or you just don't really know you don't know anything about them you don't know how to comfort them necessarily so that's the thing i think that will probably be the issue um but so far so good we'll see i'm gonna do baths six o'clock gonna start on the whole bath routine because obviously the, i can't do baths We'll do two separate baths. I can't have squirt, squirt, can't have a bath with them because they're from two different foster families. So 
which he's not happy about the poor little thing he got a little bit upset he can i don't know maybe he can watch like a little show or something or something something that doesn't get to like a little treat thing so he doesn't feel too upset or pushed out a little bit because he's not really happy about that so yeah but have time let's do this no real issues um we did decide i did a bit of a, an amazon order for bottles i needed some baby bottles i think that the younger child soothed some baby bottles he was crying quite a lot and so did a prime now <laughs> so we had to stay awake for that we ordered it at like five to eight the 10, 10 to 12 slot. So I had to stay awake for that. That arrived. So we're all good. Go, we need. 